Okay. We got lots of spots. Okay, good. Thanks. You are good to. There we go. I'm just trying to set up YouTube. We're trying to figure out some of this fun recording stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> So what do you see, Danielle? Do you see? All right, oh, do you need me to look for the little thing? Oh, that worked good. I'm glad. I just wanted to make sure when you talked, you popped up. Can, can I, I pop up everybody? Go get me my phone. Go get well, me I'm going to mute everybody because um, I've got it on right YouTube, here, hopefully. I'm going to mute all, and then I'm going to unmute Danielle and mute myself. We good? Okay. Can I'm just gonna, can I can hear you. Oh, now you're muted. Okay. <laughs> I can hear Linda faintly coming through the wall. Um, okay, so everyone's muted. Um, we're gonna try to keep it a little more intense today, this intermediate. So if it's ever too much, Please go back to an exercise that felt good in the body or take a break when you need to. And I will try to give levels for certain exercises. Um, but yeah, just listen to your body. If it's not feeling very good, do something that you like, okay? All right, we're gonna try to amp it up a little bit more today. We'll start out you know, nice and basic, but we'll try to uh, amp it up. Here we go, we're gonna lie down on our backs just so we can get grounded. So. Lying down on the backs, knees are bent, feet are flat on the ground, feeling the weight of your hips, and just try to drop into the hips so they're both evenly weighted. And then you're gonna just place your hands on the ground and feel the backs of your shoulders roll to try to touch the ground, so your collarbones widening. And then from there, we're gonna lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone. And just check that you have that little natural space under your low back and just stay there. So we're going to breathe now into the belly and you're going to breathe deeply into the belly, feeling it rise to the sky. And then on your exhale, it will naturally collapse towards your spine. And again, breathe into that belly, feeling it open and expand. And then exhale, it's naturally going to draw towards the spine. One more here. Inhaling in. And then exhaling, feeling your belly come in towards your spine and feel almost like you're drawing it gently, like you're pulling your bladder up towards the crown of your head. And now we're gonna take our hands and place them on our ribs. And we're just gonna breathe into our ribs, expanding in all directions. So inhaling into those ribs. Exhaling, feeling those ribs gently come back together. Again, inhaling into those ribs. Exhaling, they're gently coming back together. And one more here, inhaling. And exhaling. Great, so we're gonna keep that nice lateral breathing throughout the class. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head. Shoulders draw down our back. And then keep both of the hips evenly weighted. On our exhale, we'll lift our head and chest. So exhale, chest lift, flatten the belly, ribs slide to hip bones. And then inhale, come back down. Exhale, flatten the belly, ribs slide to lift you. Let everything above your collarbone be loose. Come back down. Three more here. Exhale. Inhaling down. Three. We have two more exhale to lift. Inhale to lower. Elbows are wide, shoulders down the back. Exhale, lift, hold, hold here. Release all the tension above your collarbone. Can you now exhale, flatten the belly and curl up another inch and then release that inch. And then exhale, curl up another inch, and then release that inch. So our ribs are just sliding to the hip bones a little bit more, right? Each time we lift and release, four more here. Lift 
and release. The neck and face are not doing anything. They're just along for the ride. It's all the belly. Two more, lift and release. And last one, little lift. Releasing all the way down. Taking an inhale here. Windshield, windshield wipering those knees, letting them rock side to side. Coming back to center again, shoulders draw down the back. We're gonna exhale, lifting the head and chest to center, pause here. Now imagine your rib cage, like there's a broomstick going through your rib cage, and we're just gonna rotate our rib cage around that broomstick. So I'm rotating left rib towards right hip bone, coming back to center, right rib to left hip bone. And so we're staying at the same height the whole time as we rotate. Good. Four more here. Never losing that height in center. Staying at the same height this whole time. Two more. And last one. Slowly lowering all the way back down and just rocking your knees from side to side. All right, from here, bringing your hands down by your sides, palms face into the face the ground. <laughs> press those hands into the mat. Feel the backs of your shoulders press into the mat, collarbone widening. We're just going to do a little pelvic tilt. So on your exhale, crush the imaginary grape below your low back. And then inhale and release that, creating a little arc in the low back. So on that exhale, we pull the belly in to, to gently imprint the low spine. Then on the inhale, we release and drop the pubic bone away. Exhale, crush the grape. Inhale, release. And one more here, exhale, crush that imaginary grape and inhale, release. So now we're gonna go right up into a bridge. So we're starting the same way. Exhale, draw the belly in, crush the imaginary grape, and then squeezing the glutes to roll the hips up to the sky. Pause at the top, hip bones are on the same plane. Inhale, reach the knees away from the ears. Keep that reach and then slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time, softening the chest, and then one rib drops through at a time. Lowering all the way back down. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, drawing the belly in and then rolling up. Pause at the top, reach the knees away. See if you can bring those hips up another inch. Keep the hips up and then roll down one vertebrae at a time. Maybe find a little more space between the vertebrae. And last one here, exhale, draw the belly in, rolling the hips up, reaching the knees away, slowly rolling all the way back down. So we are gonna continue this motion, but we're gonna add on. So as we roll the hips up, this time our arms are gonna come all the way back past our ears and our fingernails will be on the ground. So we're gonna exhale, roll the hips up, Bring the arms back past your ears. Keep your arms there, reach the knees away, hips grow high. And then we roll down one vertebrae at a time, feeling a little more old knee through our mid back and our ribs as we roll down. Once our sacrum touches our hands, sweep back to the mat. Inhale, exhale, roll the hips up. Arms come back near the ears. Feel that nice opening in front of the body. Press the hips up higher. Keep reaching the knees away. And then we roll down one vertebrae at a time, but still keep reaching the knees away the whole time. Sacrum comes down, arms sweep back near the hips. Inhale here. Exhale, rolling it up. Knees reach away, keep those hips up. Exhale, roll it down, one vertebrae at a time. Arms sweep back to your hips. And very last one here. We roll it up. Reach the knees away, press the hips up. And exhale, roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Enjoying that glorious stretch through the spine. 
bringing the hands back down by the hips. Palms face the ground, shoulders away from here. Equally weight your hips, right leg into tabletop, left leg follows. Great, if you need to keep your head down for this, feel free. Otherwise, we're lifting the head and chest as we exhale, sliding our roots to our hip. Good, if you want more of a challenge, you're extending your legs. We're pulsing the arms like they're springs under our triceps. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five, it's inhale. And exhale, curling over the bottom rib. It's inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Really splashing the water of an imaginary pool with those hands. Exhale, two, three, four, five. It's inhale, two, three, four, five. And reach those fingers away. Five more sets. It's inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, five. It's inhale. And exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale. Clutch in the belly. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Two more sets, reach those fingers. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set, inhale. And get all the oxygen out. Three, four, five, bend your knees, lower the head. Hug your knees to your chest and gently rock side to side. Keep holding onto that right knee. Bring both hands onto your right knee. Again, choice to keep your head down here, otherwise. We're extending the left leg, exhaling, lifting your head and chest up. We're curled into a single leg stretch. So we're switching legs and nothing is happening in the torso. Shoulders are drawing away from the ears as we reach the leg out and away. Slow and steady. Right now I'm doing a neutral foot. We're going to change that up in just one moment just to mix things up. So now we're gonna dorsi flex. We're pulling our toenails towards our face. Reach through the heel. Curl up a little bit more. We have four more here. Starting now. <laughs> four. And three. And two. And one. Curl both knees into your chest. Curl up into a tiny ball. Then lower all the way down. We touch the floor, rock side to side. So then we're going to bring one leg up at a time into tabletop and make sure those hips are evenly weighted. Right hand on right knee, left hand on left knee. Exhale, lift head and chest. So from here, we're doing double leg stretch. Squeeze your thighs, reach arms and legs away, and then exhale, come back into that wall. So the torso is staying at the same height as our arms and legs reach away from one another. We have three more here. And two. Last one. Curling little tiny ball. And then lower all the way back down. Feet touch the floor. Knees rock side to side. Oh, that was enjoyable. Okay, so from here, evenly weight those hips, lengthen the legs on the mat. If you need um, support, grab your TheraBand and you'll place your right foot into the TheraBand. We're doing a, a leg circle. So if you need a little support for your leg, this is what it looks like. If you want more of a challenge, you're just extending your right leg over the hip. Hands are pressing into the mat, the backs of the shoulders connect. The left leg is actively pressing into the mat. We cross the body, inhale, exhale, bring the right leg over the hip bone. Our hips are not moving at all. We inhale and then exhale to catch that leg. It's a game of catch within the body. Four more here. Backs of the shoulders are pressing in to help you stabilize the body. Last one. Holding at the top, bend the knee, curl your head and chest up to meet that knee. And then we slowly lower all the way back down. We're gonna do the other side. You have that TheraBand, put it on the left foot. So left leg comes into tabletop, extends up, square those hips off, press the hands in, we cross, inhale, exhale, catch that leg over the hip bone. So we're trying to not let the hips roll at all. It's a very stabilized version of leg circles. 
Forward, actively press the right leg into the mat. Make that leg work too. Don't let it just relax. I'm not gonna lie, I lost count, so we're doing two more. <laughs> and last one. Bend the left knee towards your chest, curling up into a ball, and slowly lengthen all the way on the mat. From here, legs are long, inner thighs are squeezing together. Arms are gonna come back by the ears, so this is where we modify if we need to, right? Shoulders draw down the back. Inhale, exhale, nod, chin to chest, scoop the belly, reach through the toes, rolling all the way up. And then we roll back down on our exhale. Reach the tailbone away from you, reach your toes away from you. Scoop the belly, curl the ribs in more. Take your time, the slower the better. Arms come back by the ears, inhale. Exhale, nod, chin to chest. Reach through the toes, scoop the belly, roll it up. Great. So you're gonna keep going here, rolling back. So if you need to modify, I'm just gonna show this while you continue your own journey of going down and up. If you need to modify, you can place that TheraBand around your feet, rolling down, and then it can really help you on your way up. You can reach through that TheraBand with your feet and it gives you a little more support. Good, I'm gonna roll back again, exhale, tucking the tailbone, scooping the belly. Inhale at the bottom, exhale, notch into chest, rolling it up. We have one more here, rolling down and up. We roll back, we tuck the tailbone first, we're articulating from the tailbone first, and then we draw in the belly and the ribs all the way down. Exhale, rolling it up, reaching forward. Stacking the vertebrae, nice and tall. We're gonna come onto hands and knees. So I'm crossing my ankles, coming onto hands and knees. Hands are under the shoulders, knees are under hips. I want you to feel like your shoulders are drawing down your back, like you're uh, drawing your low shoulder blades together. They're gently knitting together. And then lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone. We'll draw the belly up more. We're going to lengthen the right leg back. Keep the hip bone staring at the ground as we lift it. And then we're just gonna bend the knee back in towards the chest without moving anything and then extending that leg. Now, if that's enough for you, you're gonna just keep doing this with the leg. If you want more of a challenge, your left arm's gonna extend, nothing changes in the spine. Exhale, bring your knee and elbow to touch. We're still trying to keep the spine exactly flat, right? For that table. We're not doing a scoop yet. We're just keeping the spine flat. Three more here. Keeping the chest lifting you up out of the ground. Two more. Belly draws in and up. Last one. And extend, hold. Lower your left hand down, or if you want a continued challenge, just place it behind the back of your sacrum. From here, we're doing little pulses up with that right leg, but I'm making sure that my belly is not collapsing. I'm not collapsing in my low back and continue to reach my tailbone away for eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower your left hand, lower your right knee. Press back into a child's pose. And in this position now, if it's okay for your body, bring your hands onto your heels. Ooh, there we go. Heel, take an inhale here. Exhale, curl the tailbone to the ground, draw the belly in and roll up one vertebrae at a time. From here, we're going back to hands and knees. Same setup. Other side, left leg extends on the mat. Draw the belly in, we lift that leg. And then we just keep the spine the same as we bend the left knee in and then extend it out. Now, if you want more of a challenge, you're extending the right arm away. We're drawing elbow and knee and keep drawing the belly in and up. Slowly moving through molasses. 
So we're controlling all of the motion. We're not just flailing the arms and legs at all. Keep lifting out of that left shoulder. Make sure you're not collapsing into the joints. The elbows micro bent. We're lifting the chest, lifting the belly. Hold. Hand can come back down if you need the support, or your hand can go behind the sacrum. Draw the belly in more as we pulse that leg up. Lengthen the spine more. Crown with the head and tailbone reach in opposite directions. For four, three, two. And one, lower all the way back down. Roll back into a child's pose. And then your hands will come to your heels. Inhale here. And then exhale, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, stacking. Okay, we're gonna do one more set on each side. At the end of the class, you'll see why, because we're gonna try it standing after. So we're gonna go back to those hands and knees. So this will just do about five on each side. Same side, we're starting with the flat back. Right leg extends back, lifting up. More of a challenge, add that arm. This time we will scoop the spine, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly up to the side, bring your elbow and knee together, and then extend out to that flat back. Drawing it up into that rounded shape, and then lengthening into a flat back. Two more on this side. And use the abdominals to draw the elbow and knee together. And then lengthen, lower your hand, lower your leg, other side, reset the spine. The left leg extends and lifts, and right arm extends. We scoop into that round back, inhale to reach away. Exhale, scoop. Inhale, reach. Two more. Inhale, reach. And last one. And reach it away. Lowering your hand, lowering your leg. Very final child's pose here, bringing the head down. Bringing your hands back to your heels. Taking an inhale, exhale, drop the belly and reach the tailbone to the ground and roll up one vertebrae at a time. <sighs> All right. From here, we're going to do fun time planking, as I like to call it. So choice to be on knees and forearms, or forearms and toes, or the good old hands and toes, okay? Holding in a plank position. So whichever position you choose, check it out. Shoulders are down the back, and they're almost squeezing together at the base of the shoulders. And it's as though I feel like I'm lifting my chest out of my wrists. Lengthen the crown of the head away from the tailbone, tailbone away from the crown of the head. Find more length there. If you're on your toes, reach through the heels. Pull the belly in, squeeze the glutes. If you want more, lift the right leg up, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Left side, lift, pulse it up. Eight, seven, Six, don't let your pelvis move. Don't collapse in the low back. Keep reaching through the tailbone. Lower that, hold here. We're gonna shift forward on the toes and back on the toes. Keep drawing the core in hard, uh, hard I shouldn't say hard, <laughs> firmly supported. Three more. Back of the skull is pressing up to the sky. Last one here, lower the knees. I said last child's pose, but I lied. One more, <laughs> one more child's pose. Taking a breath here. Hands on the heels, inhale, exhale, draw the belly and rolling it up. Whew. All right, we're coming on to our forearm, our right forearm. Our knees are gonna be bent in front of us. So our hips are stacked, shoulders stacked. We're feeling our bottom waist and ribs lift us up to the sky out of this shoulder. From here, we're just going to lift our feet up to the sky. They're glued together though. We're doing clams with hovering feet. Squeezing the glutes together to lift the knee. So I'm not just moving the knee. I'm imagining I'm squeezing my glutes together to lift that knee. So the motion is slightly smaller. That's usually how you can tell if you're cheating, if the knee is just extending all the way up. Keep lifting your waist. 
no, no collapsing there. Two, hold here, pulsing it back, little bow, butterfly knees back. Check your shoulders, are you square? Is your hip stack still? Has it started to rotate back? Try to stack it. Four, three, two, one. Lower your bottom leg. Extend the top leg. Lift and then extend the bottom leg. Lift your bottom ribs and waist out so we're nice and long here. Top leg, flex the foot. We come forward, point the toe, squeeze the glute to go back. Flex forward and reach, point, squeeze. So every time we're going back, we're really pulling the belly in more. And I'm reaching out of that hip the whole time through that leg. We have two more here. And last one. Hold it back. Pulse that leg to the back wall behind you. Four, three, two, one, we're taking our hands and we're rotating, bringing our forearms down in front of us. My back leg is still hovering, rotating my back heel to the side, toe to the ground. Shoulders down the back, core is tight. We're gonna lift our heel up here. Squeeze the glute as we lift. A little higher now. And now little pulses, make it more of a pulse and less of a full lift, little teeny tiny pulses. Lift, 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 eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're coming back to that forearm. We're reaching out of that hip again. My foot's just neutral now. We're gonna go here and then lift up just a halfway. And then we squeeze our glutes to lift up. You should be feeling this burn on the side right now. So we're not collapsing through the waist as we lift. If this is happening to you, you'll get more height, but you're losing the exercise. We're reaching out of the hip and lifting. We're lifting our waist up. Two more. Last one. Lower it down. Lengthen out. Get a good stretch. This is our break here for a moment, so catch your breath. All right. We're coming back up into that forearm position. We're lengthening our legs out. I should say modification is to keep your knees bent. We're gonna lift the hips up. Full version, you're lengthening the legs out. From here, exhale, squeezing our thighs, shoulders are stacked, we press the hips up. Good. We're gonna do little pulses up with those hips. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, hold. Lower all the way down, one more stretch on that side. Great. So we're gonna come up and go to the other side right away. Okie dokie. So we're stacking the shoulder over the elbow. Knees are bent to start, stacking the hips. We're doing those clam. Oh, sorry, I should say we're hovering our feet first. <laughs> then we're squeezing the glutes and lifting that knee. Check again. Make sure you're lifting the waist and ribs towards the sky, the bottom waist and ribs. Trying to check and see also, making sure your face and neck muscles are relaxed. And now we're gonna lift that knee up and hold it. Teeny, teeny, tiny little pulses up. We have eight more. Good. So now we're going to lengthen the top leg, then lengthen the bottom leg. Stack your hips again and re-stack, re-stack the shoulders. Okay, flex, Dorsey flex the <laughs> hovering foot. We're gonna come forward. Point the toe, reach out of the hips, hip squeeze the glute as you go back. Forward. Point and come back. So we're trying to keep that leg at the same height the whole time. It's going to want to dip as it gets tired. But we're going to keep reaching away, fighting to keep it up at the same height. Four more here.
two. And last one. So if your shoulder's ever tired, you always can go down onto your um, that side of your head. Reach that leg back, reach it back, pulse it back, little reaches. Core is tight, draw the belly in more. Squeeze that glute to pull the leg back, right? For five, four, three, two, one. Both forearms come onto the mat, shoulders are down the back. So we're rotating that pelvis a little bit. Heel lifts to the sky, toe faces the ground. Squeeze the glute to lift the leg up. Keep drawing the belly in to support your spine. So we're, you should be feeling this in your glute is where we want to be feeling this. Hopefully you're all feeling it there. We're getting close. Four more. And three, two, and one. We're coming all the way back up. That leg is just going to be neutral now. We're going to squeeze our glute to lift and then lower halfway. And then I just caught myself collapsing into the shoulder. So check. Have you collapsed down and lift up out of it? We're almost finished with this side. Almost there. Reach out of the hip. Three more. Two. One. Lower it down. Choice to be bent knee or long legs. We're doing that side plank. So find your favorite version from here. Squeeze the inner thighs. Collarbones wide. Lift. And we're going to do little pulses up. Little press the hips up higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower all the way down. Get a nice stretch here. And then from here, we're going to roll onto our stomachs. Oh, jokes. So we'll extend our arms out in front of us. Feel both hip bones and pubic bone press into the mat evenly. Um, forehead is just hovering an inch off the mat. Press your right hand to the left leg into the mat, and then we lift opposite limbs. Check. Are both your hip bones and pubic bones still pressing in evenly? If so, great. Let's switch sides. So slow and controlled. And as we do the switch from side to side, we're making sure that there's no shift in that pelvis, right? The whole time we're equally weighted as we slowly shift our uh, opposite arms and legs. Shoulders are gently coming down the back. They're not going up to your ears. One more each side, controlling that transfer of weight. Good. Hold here. Lift all four limbs, shoulders down the back. Keep yourself weighted evenly again, right? Hip bones and pubic bone and start cluttering arms and legs like you're swimming. Inhale and exhale, shoulders down the back. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Reach out of the hips with those feet. Two more. And last one here. Good, lower down. Your hands are gonna come under your forehead one more time. Legs are gonna separate to mat with distance apart. We're gonna externally rotate. So toes point out, heels point in. From here, shoulders are down the back. Again, both hip bones and pubic bone press in. Lift your right leg, hover it off the mat, and then check that you want all the three bony points touching. From here, we're gonna draw little circles in that hip. Thinking of that lift, squeeze up a little bit more every time, get a little higher with those circles every time. We have two more slow, teeny tiny circles. And then we reverse the direction. Check, has your lift, left hip bone elevated? Try to weight it a little bit more. Make it heavier, right? If it's elevated. Hold here and lower, other side. Reset the pelvis, left leg slowly lifts, squeezing the glute. Check your right hip bone, make sure it's evenly weighted. Good. And we're gonna do little circles. Good. 
Get a little higher every time if you can. Reach out of the hip more. Reverse the direction. Pull the belly in to support that spine, to stabilize the pelvis. Okay, hold that leg, reach. Your right leg's gonna come up to join. All three bony points are touching. So the knees are hovering off. Now we're gonna bend our knees and bring our heels together. And we're gonna press our feet up to the sky. It's called grasshopper. And then we're gonna lower the knees slightly. Then we're gonna press up, squeeze the glutes, draw the belly in, and then lower down. So heels squeeze, feet lift, glutes squeeze, core is tight, then we lower. We should be feeling our hamstrings and our glutes all at the same time. Three more here. Keep drawing the belly in. And last one, hold. Keep hovering the knees now. Separate the feet to hip width distance. So we're reaching out like an airplane. So I'm separating the legs and then I'm bending and bringing the heels back together. And then I reach the legs away. Oh, you guys, yes, perfect. Coming back, this looks so good, you guys. Awesome. Four. Check that your pivot bone's pressing in as well. Two more. Reach out of the hip, squeeze the whole leg. We have one last final one here. Reach, 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 reach. Lower down. Now we're gonna press back into child's pose. So bend your knees, press your hips back. Good, coming back onto the stomach. We'll get a little extension happening here. So pubic bone presses in, my legs are hip width distance apart, shoulders are drawing down the back. Draw the belly in, lengthen through the crown of the head, light as you can be with those hands. We're just lifting the head and chest. We're only going to about rib, bottom rib height, and then we're lowering back down. So for this portion right now, we're just gonna exhale to lift to bottom rib. And I want you to make sure you're not collapsing in the back. We're lengthening out of the tailbone and the crown of the head as we lift. Four more, nice and slow. Belly draws in. Three more. Last two. And last one, draw the belly in, exhale, just to rib bottom, rib height, lengthen everything away from each other. Find space in the vertebrae, lower all the way back down. So now, if that's enough for you, continue doing that. If you want a little bit more, we're gonna try doing a little bit of a rocking swan today. So we're gonna <clears throat> we'll start lengthening the arms as you pull the belly in, you're gonna lengthen up. I'm just gonna do it really slow first. Then we bend the elbows and lower the upper body as the legs lift. Then we lower the legs and extend the arms. We're gonna do one more like this, slow and controlled. So if this is enough for you, you keep doing this with your hands planted on the ground. If you want more, you're going to let go and rock legs to arms. Four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down, press back into a child's pose. I hope I gave you enough options there, everybody. Okay. From here, bringing the heels, hands to your heels. Take an inhale. Exhale, draw the belly in, reach the tailbone to the ground, roll it up. We wanna come up to standing now, so we're gonna go hands and knees. Curl the toes under. We're gonna go into a downward dog. Draw the drop. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. Downward dog. Bring your hips up, belly in. Soften those knees, walk your hands back to your toes. Let your head hang, inhale. Exhale, reach the tailbone to the ground, roll it up. Draw the belly in to support you. Okay. Everyone's been looking really good from what I can see. So I'm going, you're gonna lose my head here, but um, that's because I wanna show you a profile and get a little closer so you can see. We did that cat cow on our knees to warm up. Now we're gonna do it standing. So my feet are parallel. I'm gonna shift all my weight into my right foot, put my hands on my thighs, 
and my uh, left heel is lifting. I'm going to go into a C curve, scooping. Yeah? Now I'm going to hug my knee towards my chest. And then I'm going to lengthen arms and legs away into a flat back. And then I'm going to exhale, scoop the belly, draw in. If you want more challenge, don't actually touch the knee, just hover. Lengthen on an inhale. Exhale, scoop and get into a tiny ball. Inhale, reach. Exhale, scoop. We have three more here. Inhale. And exhale. Slow and controlled, right? Two more. Tuck the tailbone under you. Scoop the belly and use those abdominals to bring the knee towards the chest. Hold here. Now do bring your hand on the knee. Come up to standing. That was our balance test. <laughs> Lower all the way down. I'm going to turn so you can see the other side of it. You can stay where you are. Feet are parallel. Lift your heel. Hands slide onto the thighs. We tuck the tailbone. Shoulders away from ears. Slowly in control. We exhale. Lift the knee towards our chest. Then we lengthen arms and legs away. Flat back. Scoop the belly. Blow out your air. Inhale. Slow and controlled here. Find a spot on the floor sometimes can help you. When we go into that flat back, if you can find a spot on the floor to stare at, it can often help with them balance. We have two more here. Slow and controlled reach. Exhale, scoop. Last one. And exhale, scoop, hold the knee, come up to standing. Great. Okay. Standing at the back of your mat, we'll do a roll down. So it will do a bit of an act, active one. Feet are parallel. Inhale, arms come up. We exhale, dive forward. Good. Inhale here. Draw the belly in, roll it up one vertebrae at a time. Good, one more here. Inhale up, exhale, dive. Let yourself hang, exhale, draw the belly in, reach the tailbone to the ground, rolling it up. So this time we're gonna come back down all the way to the mat, so we'll dive, inhale up, we dive forward. We walk our hands out and then come to hands and knees. So bending those knees, lowering down, cross your ankles, roll to your hips, and then turn into a mermaid position. So I'm gonna bring my left shin to the side, facing to the side. Okay, arms are out in a T, shoulders melt down the back, we grow tall. Left hip drops down. We're just gonna go over into a nice mermaid, bending the right arm, lift the bottom ribs up. Then coming back to center, we're going in the opposite direction. Coming back to center. So I'm inhaling over. Exhaling back up. Inhaling over. Exhale to center. One more in each direction here. And exhale up. Last one. Okay, great. We are just going to do a little stretch. So you're going to bring that right hand down. Left arm comes over. Rotate so your chest is facing the ground. You can stay here. You can go forearms or you can come all the way down. Bringing your hands under your shoulders. Drawing the belly in, coming all the way up and over to center. We're gonna switch sides with the legs now. Okay, again, feel that right hip dropping down so you feel like you're trying to weight it. Spine is long and tall, arms out to the side, shoulders down the back, left hand comes down, elbow bend. Lift your bottom ribs, inhale over, breathe into the ribs. Exhale, feel your waist draw you back to center. And then we counter stretch, but we're trying to keep this active, right? So at no point are we collapsing into our waist. We're lifting and reaching, and then lifting and stabilizing, then lifting and reaching, then lifting and stabilizing. We have two more here. Exhale. I'm 
not used to these 45 minute classes and I keep running out of time for all of the material I have planned. Let's go into that lovely stretch, rotating your chest towards the ground, choice to stay high. You can go on your forearms or you can lower all the way down. Hands come under shoulders one more time. We extend the arms up, coming all the way back up to center. We'll just simply finish with our soles of the feet coming together, knees falling out to the side. And we'll just let our crown of our head drop forward and feel gravity open up your inner thighs. I like to place my elbows in my knees. And just breathe here into the back ribs, the back of the neck. And on your exhale, feel your face muscles and neck muscles releasing. Inhale between the shoulders now, right between your shoulders. And then exhale, feel your shoulders melt, separating a little bit more. And one more inhaling into the entire spine, feeling it open up with your inhale. And then exhale, feeling all your vertebrae separating a little bit more from each other, finding that space. Slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. You can use your hands to help you. Coming to seated. And we're all finished. Thanks, everybody. Um, I'm going to come forward. <laughs> we're welcome to feedback. We're, I, I love feedback.